Welcome to Learning Mode. Today we are exploring mental maths um, activities or maths games that you might want to play at home or with your children in a class. And we're looking at an old time favourite, bingo. So much fun. Um, children have really, really good interaction with this. And again, so easily to set up. All you need is a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Um, you don't even need to. You can print um, pre-generated um, number squares with bingo numbers on them, but you don't even need to do that. I find that if you've just got a whiteboard um, or a piece of paper, I actually just say, set a limit and I'll say, right, I need you to choose six numbers between one and 20. So that's what I've done. I've chosen in here. You can draw a grid or a table if you want, it's up to you. And then I will make up questions to generate these numbers, mathematical questions. It's so easy to do because again, you can challenge the more able you can challenge children that are struggling and you can make it for every single ability so i might say for example um everybody look down onto your bingo card you've chosen your six numbers between one and 20. you need to focus now and i'm going to give you questions and the answers will be on your bingo card and you cross them off the first one to cross off all their numbers must leap up out of their chair and shout bingo as loud as they possibly can which they love and that's the aim of the game, they're the winner. So I will say, right, my first answer on my bingo card is the answer to this question, one plus one. So again, it can be from five-year-olds right through up to 10 or 11, depending on how difficult you make the question. So one plus one is two. Children have to really concentrate on this. Do I have a two in my bingo card? No, can't mark any numbers off. Okay, my next question is, the answer to 14 divided by two. Okay, I'm gonna look at my bingo card. I need to work out the answer. I know it's seven. Oh, I've got a seven. I can cross it off. Next question. What is the answer to this question? Three times three, nine. Nope, don't have a nine, can't cross it off. So, so on and so forth. And as you can make the questions, if you want to be all multiplication, fine. If you want them to be all addition, fine you can do whatever you want with this and it's so so easy simple and quick to set up but it's actually so much fun and you get so much out of it so um i'm going to continue on with my bingo see if i can win